Juan, Agnes and viewer question time again. This time it is from Danielle. Danielle, you've asked. I was diagnosed with depression eight years ago and I've been attempting to treat it with different therapists and medications over the years. Sometimes I have it under control, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I get lost into irrational, very dark negative thoughts and if I'm not able to pull myself out, I start to think about how I'm going to cause all of this upsetting things I'm thinking of to be my reality if it's not already. Sometimes your meditations or the I put this pain on the, upon the God within saying helps, but sometimes the darkness is strong. How do you feel depression works with LOA? Sorry for this question being long-winded. Okay, well, Danielle, depression... And when we are in that state, we have practiced extremely well repetitive, habitual, negative thought patterns. And that's what we've got really good at. That's why we have that state of being. Okay. So when I was depressed and not feeling well, anxiety, depression, and all those states, when I was in those states, I realized that from listening and learning as we do with different teachers that I had to change and learn to change my thoughts and I had to learn to focus on something different, okay? Now, if you've got very dark negative thoughts, it's about changing those, as you know, into positive thoughts, which then changes the depression, okay? So... You're saying that putting that statement into play, I put this pain upon the God within or I put this depression or I cast this fear or whatever it is that you have going on, doubts, worry, grief, whatever it is, upon the God within and I go free. Saying helps, but sometimes the darkness is too strong. Well, that's because you've practiced the darkness more so than you've practiced I've cast this upon the God within and I go free. So you can't be choosing that kind of statement and depressive thoughts at the same time. You choose which master you serve, okay? That's why we practice affirmations. That's why we do meditations, okay? Because it's making a decision. I'm going to do this stuff more and that is going to change what I think over time, okay? It's about getting good at, it's like a mental fitness, you learn to practice the mental positive thought patterns that you haven't been good at. You practice them until you become good at it, you see. Okay. So my, let me just look at your question again. You're saying, how do I feel depression works with LOA? Well, LOA Depression is your projection. LOA is going to photocopy that and bring you experiences that reflect your depression. So unfortunately, the better you feel, the better experiences you get, the worse you feel, the worse your experiences get with people, with money, with health, with relationships. So yeah, you can go to different therapists and take medication and do whatever you've been advised to do. And if you feel it's helping, well, then keep going. Um, I do think, though, having suffered with this, at the end of the day, it's really between you and you and dealing with your own mind, okay? And this is something that we all have to do in life, whether you're depressed or not. I think everybody can relate to having some seriously bad times, and how painful that is. So there is a decision making process too that I'm going, I make a decision and that's what I did. I make a decision to learn what I need to learn, but not just learn it, apply it daily over time to get better at this. And for me, I did 100 to 300 affirmations a day. I did two or three meditations a day. I did, I love myself, like Kamal Ravikant said, over and over and over. Okay, that cured the depression. And if you have a look at Danielle, I did a 
viewer success story. There was a woman that wrote me a story about how she cured her depression. I'm not sure if you saw that YouTube. I will put it down in the link below, in the description below the link so that you can watch it. Because I think when someone's walked in your shoes, it definitely helps to have somebody that's had that exact experience. So yeah, I hope that's answered your question, but you can pull yourself out of it through thinking and changing the thoughts, a thought at a time, doing things that make you feel good, continuing to think thoughts about self-love, I'm loved, I'm wanted, I'm supported, I'm deserving, I'm worthy, I am secure. You see, all of these kinds of thoughts are thoughts that a depressed person doesn't think. So it's learning to think the thoughts that a depressed person doesn't think and becoming good at them, okay? Now, your second question, my biggest wall with the attracting a specific person videos has been feeling like I'm a crazy person that can't just let go of what I can't have like a normal person, that I'm being selfish and if, if anyone knew I was trying to do this, they would think I'd really gone over the edge. I guess this means I'm having trouble believing in it. Yes, which is ironic considering it's easy for me to believe it when I'm fear when I fear I'm attracting bad things when I'm depressed. My question is how to deal with this. Do you think my fear of being seen as a crazy person is my own lack of belief? Well, you know, when you first start learning about law of attraction, it just feels like this weird thing, this weird concept, another part of knowledge, and you have to decide whether you believe it or not. The thing is, even if you don't believe in law of attraction, it's applying itself to you anyway. It's like you don't have to believe in the law of gravity, but the fact is it still exists as you know. So if you throw an egg out a window, whether you believe in gravity or not, the egg's going to hit the ground and crack. So law of attraction is the same. Whether you believe in what you project out and what comes back exists or not, it's still going to apply itself to you. Okay. So if you're thinking I'm being a crazy person that just can't let go of what I can't have, that whole way of thinking is, like you said, a, a lack of your own belief. So you can create what you want if you do certain things. Firstly, self-love. Firstly, remembering everyone's you pushed out. Secondly, remembering everyone's you pushed out. And thirdly, you can use the living from the end a technique that Neville talks about. If you can remember those three things and try to apply them and see what results you get, even if you don't fully believe it, try and keep an open mind. Then if you get a result, it's much easier to believe things you see. Okay. You have to grow into your beliefs with, with a lot of this stuff. It's not me telling you about my experience that grows your belief. It's about you. It might lift your vibe and it might inspire you, but it's not going to really make you believe until you yourself do it and you feel it within you. So if you want to let go of that, I'm a crazy person that just can't let go of what I can't have like a normal person, you know, you let go of that. And if you keep wanting to believe that, that's up to you too. Most people live in reality. So it's very easy to believe that and just feel the results of that and get the results of that. Because a lot of people just look at reality and then they complain about reality and then they talk to their girlfriends or their family or their co-workers about reality. And then they just live this kind of life that they just keep reacting to what's going on rather than creating prepaving in advance, you see. Okay. So your question is how to deal with this. Firstly, make a decision whether you want to believe that or not. Does that actually serve you and help you to feel better? If it doesn't, maybe consider going, well, I think I might let that go. And really at the other end of the day, who gives a rat's bum what other people think? And the other thing is, if you've got something you want to manifest like a specific person, don't tell people about it. This is the thing. You keep your manifestations pre-manifesting 
your desires more accurately, keep your desires to yourself until they've hatched, okay? Then you can talk about it after. But in the meantime, just keep your own thoughts to yourself and your own beliefs and the things you're trying to manifest to yourself so that you can really protect your desires in the time that it's creating itself, okay? So lots of love and I'm going to upload this and I'll put anything relevant to it in the description.